Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Animal Crossing tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys four amazing things to make it so that when you log into your game, you don't have to do all this annoying upkeep and you can just relax, maybe step away from the game for even up to a month, years, it doesn't matter. Your flowers will be fine, there will be no weeds on your island, no sticks everywhere, and no fossils in your way. And if you guys manage to learn at least something from this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button with notification bell if you haven't already guys. I really appreciate it and it's the easiest way to say thank you to me. And we just hit 200,000 subscribers everyone because of people like you who weren't subscribed, realized you watched a bunch of my videos and just decided to support me by hitting that red subscribe button. As well guys, if you subscribe, you can always just click unsubscribe in the future. It doesn't hurt and uh, you gave it a shot and I appreciate you. All right, <laughs> enough talking onto the video. So let's start off this video with the most simple one, fossils. Everybody knows that fossils spawn every day, and the thing that some people don't know is that if you already have the fossils and you just leave them inside the ground and they're just left there, they won't actually appear the next day. So you're not gonna have eight the next day. This tells us one thing, that there is a max amount of fossils you can have, but they're not like rocks. So if you dig them up, you don't actually have to wait for it to spawn in another area to get an advantageous place to have it, kind of like rocks. All you have to do is dig up the four fossils around your island and then go to somewhere where they can't be seen, preferably behind your island, behind the cliffs, the way back of your island, because we all know that people always, you know, build up the back of their island as opposed to the front, and you can actually hide them there. You can also alternatively hide them like right here behind some flowers or even behind trees. It's really, really easy to hide these, and there's only four of them, so you can easily do it. Once you've done this, you will actually never see another fossil spawn on your island again until you actually dig them up. So just do this once and bam, we're already done with the first step. All right, on to step number two. So for number two, we're going to be doing essentially the same thing that we did with the fossils, but on a bit of a bigger, less specific scale with sticks. So every single day, each of your normal hardwood trees or cedar trees will spawn a stick around it. It's kind of random where they go and how many that will spawn on your island depends on how many trees. So it'll be different from person to person. But all you need to do is every day empty out your inventory and then go pick up every single stick you see spawned on your island. And again, just like the fossils, but a little bit harder, hide them. So you can drop them again behind trees because look, if they're behind trees, it makes sense. It's a little bit harder to see and it blends in a bit with the trunk. Maybe you have a forested area. You can use them decoratively because you want to be able to maximize the space on your island. So start thinking about using these sticks in a nice pretty way. Or again, you can just hide them at the back of your island and forget about them. No problem. All right. That's really simple. The thing is about this one is that you're going to have to experiment yourself because the amount kinda differs. For me, I get like 15, 16 every single day, and if I don't move them or keep them hidden on my island, they will just keep spawning and spawning and it's really annoying, so experiment and you'll figure it out for yourself. Now for number three, weeds. Now this one gets a little bit more complicated, but we're going to take what we just learned about fossils and sticks and that there is a max amount and that if you choose to place them either decoratively or hide them at the back of your island or anywhere you can behind cliffs or trees, then you can actually hit a maximum amount that actually can be on your island before it stops. With fossils, it is four. With sticks, it is several, but let's say 10 to 15. But for weeds, it's actually 150. That means that once you hit 150 weeds on your island anywhere and at any stage, they will all stop growing and stop multiplying. So by growing, I mean one little tiny, for example, this cute clovers you can see here, those will grow up into the really tall ones until it really has taken over your island and they kind of look a little bit creepy at some point. And multiplying, as in we all know, this is the worst part of them, they spread out over time. If you have 149, all of them will spawn, 150 it won't. Okay, I think I've made that clear, but going on to this, it's going to be kind of hard. You really need to get creative with weeds, but this will really make your life so easy. This is probably the most important one for the long term because they can spawn anywhere. It's really hard to prevent them. You know what I mean? Any free space on your island, it's going to get filled with weeds. Again, you can place them behind your island. On your island, if you look at the map, you can see these little grids. And each of those grids is 16 by 16. That means roughly at a maximum, we have 80 different spots right at the back of your island. I know what you're thinking, Chase. <laughs> 80 is not 150. That's not even close to 150. What do I do? Well, 
if you're not going to decorate with them because as I've said multiple times, the little clovers and the really small weeds are really cute. And if you plant them all on the same day and you hit 150, the 150 cap, then you will not actually have them grow up any bigger and there will always be cute little tiny clovers. I've seen people, instead of putting pathways all along their island, they manage to painstakingly place down the clovers. And again, if you guys plant them, you can see here, sometimes they plant as clovers, sometimes they plant as other ones. Regardless, you have to pick up the ones that aren't clovers and place them again. It will take a long time, but you can actually make an entire pathway through maybe a forest out of these pretty clovers or any stage for that matter and you will hit that 150 cap before you know it try to find a balance between those you know what i mean max out the back of your island as much as you can where nobody goes and nobody sees you know what's, what they don't see won't hurt them maybe put like a hedge fence there so it all blends in i don't know but i suggest doing this if you're going to take anything from this i suggest doing it all in the same day so that the weeds stay small and out of sight because the tall ones can be seen from far away in certain angles but the small ones they kind of just look like grass all right let's get on to the final tip so we've talked about all these other things that just happen every day and you have no control over and sometimes you don't even want a single one of them sometimes at a certain point in the game you don't want fossils at all anymore you don't want sticks on your island and you don't want weeds ever but you do want flowers and you want to keep them there but sometimes you don't want to like put fences around your flowers or pathways because as we know pathways and fences and other objects stop flowers from reproducing but there is a way you can actually have effectively nothing there you can have just grass and literally nothing beside the flowers but they will never overgrow how you do this is actually by being a little bit cheeky and in your designs app you create a completely transparent design and then you use that as a pathway by either placing the pattern on the ground from the app itself or you can use the island designing app and actually use a custom pathway there and choose the transparent one and place them around the border make sure you also go diagonally because that's a big mistake that even i made because two things happen with that number one they can grow diagonally and then it just grows out of control anyway and number two is that once you've placed them you're gonna have a hard time remembering where they were placed and where they weren't and on top of that you'll find a lot of the time you'll go to place one where you think you don't have one and you'll end up erasing it so it's just you can see me doing that many times in this footage and it's really annoying so it's something that i learned like really early on in the game and i never really shared it with people i think i shared it in one of my first live streams i ever did but i never made a video until recently actually i'll put that right there in the top right corner you can see the arrow to it i'll actually have a video where it's 12 tips that you might not know it's more for new players but i do have that tip in there and there might be things that even advanced players don't know as i've learned from the comments so go check that out if you want so that's it for all of my tips for this video guys if you had learned anything during this video make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already check because some people get unsubscribed i don't even know if that's a real thing but people tell me they get unsubscribed all the time so maybe it is a thing i don't know maybe you just forgot to subscribe but you know i'm not gonna beg anymore <laughs> thank you guys and i will see you in the next video